Hello, I'm David Getter, and I'd like to give a quick shout out to all of my students who have taken my classes on large format. In fact, last year we celebrated our 500th student. Well, today I'd like to share with you one of my new inventions. It's called the Print Alignment Tool, or Tyler Ruler. Now, I know what you're thinking. Looks pretty much like a common ruler, but stick around. There's some very interesting points you need to see. To show you how the Tyler ruler is used for aligning large format prints, well, we've got to have some. And I've chosen to work with Roland's VersaCam VP540. It's an absolutely fantastic eco-solvent inkjet printer. And of course, we'll need a mounting substrate. In this case, I'm just working with some half inch thick black gator foam. Okay, with everything set up here on the table, we're now ready to take a close-up look at the Tyler ruler and how easy this tool makes aligning large format prints to your mounting materials. And just before we go to a close-up view, I want to cover a couple of basic things. Most of you will take a straight edge and cut a long straight line to use that for the initial alignment when you're mounting through the laminator. The problem with that is any little bit of skewing or out of squareness that you have with your board or your printed image is only going to result in a small amount of board showing, which you're going to have to trim off. And depending on your cutting capabilities, this can be a real challenge shaving off a small amount. The best practice is to always print your images with a bleed, either a quarter inch or an eighth inch bleed, oversized of the actual mounting material. From there, you can use the Tyler ruler to actually see the edge of the mounting material even though your print is physically larger than the board. And you won't have to use a light table, which, by the way, doesn't work if your image is opaque. So let's cut to a close-up view and see the Tyler ruler in action. Well, with the use of our overhead camera, you can get a close-up look and see what it's like if you're actually using the Tyler ruler yourself. The built-in edge detector and pass-through area actually correspond with the edge finder and our 1 8 and 1 quarter inch overhang registration marks. So to simply use the Tyler ruler, place it on the table and slide it up next to your board. The edge detector will automatically show you with the corresponding edge finder where the edge of the board is. Here as I slide the digital print into place, I'm going to align it to the quarter inch registration mark. I'll quickly slip the Tyler ruler around to the edge and then slide the print down again till I get to the corresponding quarter inch registration mark or the quarter inch bleed that I printed on the image. I'll check this side one more time, make a fine adjustment, and there we have exact registration of a quarter inch overhang. You won't have to hunt and peck to find the edge of your board, and this will actually become our rotation point as we slide the ruler to the other end to line up our digital print. Well, now that you've seen how the Tyler ruler works up close, let's go ahead and position this print on this mounting substrate in real time so that you can see the steps that are involved. The first thing that we'll want to do is to fold the print back or fold the release liner back and form a crease all the way across this leading edge right here. We'll turn this over because this will be the edge that goes into the laminator first. Now, using the Tyler ruler on this end, I'll actually slide it up underneath until it finds the board. I'll place the bleed at the one quarter inch overhang mark, move the ruler to the side or the bottom of the print, check the side one more time, and this becomes a rotation point. I'll slide the ruler to the other end and align this to the quarter inch mark. And now our print's in exact alignment. I'll take my palm here and depress this leading edge, tacking the print in perfect alignment to the board. If you'd like to find out more information on how to get a Tyler ruler, just check out the notes at the end of this video. I'm Dave Getter. Thanks for watching.